Hi, I'm David Carnoy and I'm here with the new Plus version of Audio Engine's A2 speaker which came out a few years ago and got high marks from CNET. Cosmetically, the A2 Plus looks the same but it adds a USB digital converter so you can plug the speakers right into the USB port on your computer. The key thing to note about these speakers and Audio Engine's Step Up A5 Plus is that they're bookshelf style speakers masquerading as PC or multimedia speakers but unlike classic bookshelf speakers these audio engine models are powered so there's no need for a separate receiver or amplifier and you can use them with any audio source. This smaller model is more stylish looking than the 5 series and has a sleek glossy finish that gives the speaker a swanky appearance. It comes in the white you see here or black. Beyond the USB digital connection what's also new on the A2 Plus is the inclusion of a variable RCA output which allows you to connect a subwoofer and the company says it's upgraded the speaker's connectors improved the included accessory cables and redesigned the power supply. It's smaller now, which is good. Luckily, the appeal of these speakers is that you can do without the sub. For their size, the 2 Pluses deliver good tight bass and offer excellent detail and relatively big sound, though they can't fill a room like the larger A5 Plus does. Since the A2 Plus's digital converter is the biggest change from the A2, which only had analog inputs, we alternated between listening via the A2 Plus's USB input and analog RCA connections. There was some small loss of bass oomph, detail and texture of the sound from the analog collection and the stereo sound stage forfeited some dimensionality. So if you're using the A2 Pluses with a computer, we definitely recommend using the USB input. I wouldn't call the Audio Engine A2 Plus a steal at $249.99, but it seems fairly priced. The big question is whether it's worth spending the extra $50 for the enhancements the newer model offers with the A2 remaining on the market, for now anyway, at $199.99. You don't get a big bump in sound quality when moving to the A2 Plus, but it does make a small difference when you connect the speakers via USB. I think I'd probably spend the extra $50 on the newer model, but I tend to go with the latest and greatest so long as I don't have to pay too much of a premium to do it. But not everybody feels the same way. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the Audio Engine A2 Plus Multimedia Speaker. Thanks for watching.